Have you ever been confused by technical terms that seem similar but have different meanings? If so, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into the difference between data URI and data URL in JavaScript. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you encounter terms that sound alike but mean different things. You're not the only one who has stumbled upon this confusion. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, what is the difference between data URI and data URL? They pointed out that both terms are used, but they wanted clarity on how they differ. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what exactly is the difference? A data URI is a way to include data inline in web pages, while a data URL is a specific type of data URI that is used to embed small files directly into HTML or CSS. Let's break this down further and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on when to use each one effectively. To clarify the difference between data URI and data URL, we start with the definition of a data URI. A data URI is a way to include small data items inline in web documents. It allows the user to embed images or other media directly into HTML or CSS. On the other hand, a data URL is a specific type of data URI that is used to represent a resource as a URL. This means that while all data URLs are data URIs, not all data URIs are data URLs. The user can think of data URLs as a subset of data URIs. Next, let's look at the syntax. A data URI typically starts with the prefix data, followed by the media type, and then the actual data. For example, an image might look like this, data image slash PNG base64 ivbor wak go. In contrast, a data URL will also start with data, but it is often used in contexts where a URL is expected such as in an image source attribute. The user can use it directly in HTML like this, img source data image png base64 ivbor k go. Finally, the user should remember that while data URIs and data URLs are useful for embedding small resources, they can increase the size of HTML or CSS files. Therefore, it's best to use them judiciously. Fun fact, the concept of data URIs was introduced in the early days of the web to help reduce the number of server requests. It's amazing how far we've come. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user clarifies the confusion between data URI and data URL. They explain that the method HTML canvas element to data URL returns a data URI, which represents an image. The method name includes URL, but the return value is actually a data URI. They suggest that the naming might be due to the nuanced differences between the two terms. Here's a quick tip. Use data URLs for small images or icons to improve load times but be cautious with larger files as they can bloat your HTML. And there you have it. Now you know the difference between data URI and data URL. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tech tips and remember to apply this knowledge in your next project.